Howdy and welcome to week one of my email series, Chaos to Control, Time Saving Strategies to Maximize Your Day. My goal for this series is to give you tried and true, easy to implement tips to hopefully help you increase your efficiency and productivity, stay more organized, feel less stress and more in control of your life. I am a busy mom, an entrepreneur, a business owner, um, and a partner. So I know what it's like to be feel, feel like you're being pulled in a lot of different directions. So let's jump in right away. Week one is all about must have tools and technology to help you stay organized. And the best part about it is these tools are all easy to use and either have a free or an extremely low cost option to them. So starting out with the app that literally saves and runs my life, and it is probably the least fancy app you've ever seen, it is called the G Tasks app, and I will link to everything below, so don't worry. But it is a little green app, and essentially, it is a to-do list app. But I live and die by my to-do list, and there are a couple of reasons that I love this app versus just keeping a list on my phone, um, say in the notes section. So the biggest thing is, inside the G-Task app, you can schedule to-do list items for ahead of time. So it's almost like a to-do list meets a calendar. So if I know that I have a couple of things on my to-do list that I'm not going to be able to get done that day. I love to get my to-do list completely wiped out. So it's just going to bother me if it's sitting on my to-do list until say Wednesday and it's a Monday. So the G-Task app allows you to schedule tasks ahead of time or to whatever day it is. It's also great for reminders of birthdays. I will oftentimes set a reminder, you need to start working on X because it's due Y day inside of the G-Task app. I'm going to talk even more about how I use the G-Task app for time blocking in a later series. But this app also allows you to set reminders. So if you need to be reminded to do something, it will set off an alarm. You can set it as reoccurring. So if you have daily, weekly, or monthly tasks, you can put them in once and they show up every time they need to be there. So again, the G-Task app, total lifesaver. I'll link to it below so you can easily find it. And I think it's maybe $4.99 a year unless the price went up from last time I paid. So money well spent for about $5. Next up is Google Drive. I'm sure you have all heard of Google Drive, but a couple of ways that I use Google Drive to save me time is I store almost all of my pictures, my documents, and even some videos in Google Drive. I do pay for a little bit of upgraded storage, especially if you have some videos in there. But one thing that I love about Google Drive is not only can you organize by folders, but let's say you forget where you put something, you can easily search your Google Drive file and it will pull up any document with those keywords, either in the name or even within the document. So if you're searching for something that you did a long time ago, or you can't remember which folder you saved it in, that actually can save a lot of time. Maybe I just need to organize my folders better, but it is very practically helpful. You can also edit from any device. So I love to-do lists, but I also love ideas lists. Um, I keep a running list of ideas for birthday presents. I keep a running list of ideas for social media content, for songs that I love, for choreography that I love. And so the fact that I can reach Google Drive from my phone, from anywhere, from my tablet, or from my computer makes it really easy to constantly update those lists. You can also share any documents on Google Drive with any work teammates or your spouse. Um, A quick example of a non-work example of how I use Google Drive is I'm a room mom for my oldest, Annabelle. And so I have our class roster and our party list and our teacher's favorite things list all in a Annabelle or Miss Daly's class folder and share it with all of the other um, parents in our class so we can easily keep up to date on who's handling what. So just a non-work example because um, I do use it in lots of different 
areas. Next up is the plan app. They also have a desktop version. It's plan with two ends. So this is a social media scheduler and there are a lot of social media schedulers out there, but I particularly love plan because it is a great way to not only plan your social media, hence the name, but it also goes the extra mile and helps to give you ideas. So every month they put out a content calendar that also has like Today is International Coffee Day or Cupcake Day or Administrative Assistant Day. So it reminds you of all of those things that you can use to plan your content around. It also puts out um, caption prompts that you can use for ideas. Sometimes they're perfect for the fitness industry. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes you can change them. But it's a great, great help if you are really struggling with what to post on social media. So it might generate some ideas. It also has a bank of stock photos that you can pull from. So if you're like, Lauren, I'm so tired of my mug. Trust me, I'm so tired of my own mug um, on social media, but it has a great pile of pictures that you can choose from to help use in your social media. Um, so that way you can put them in and maybe have a motivational quote or something like that. Speaking of social media, I also love Canva. So Canva is a website, again, linking everything below. Um, and I think we all think of Canva for social media, but it actually has a lot of different uses. And even for social media, a couple of things that Canva but can help save you time with is how many templates it has to choose from. So it is always easier, I think, to start from a template than to start from scratch. So for Instagram, let's say cover photos for your videos or Facebook cover photos, or if you have a virtual studio and you need to create cover photos for all of your videos there, Canva has a ton of amazing templates. A couple of other things um, that you can create in Canva that you may not know about. It is amazing for logo design. Instead of having to hire someone, you can create business cards, you can create flyers, you can create foldable brochures. For your personal life, you can always also use it for birthday party invitations. Um, so I've used it and printed birthday party invitations. I've texted out birthday party invitations if it was a smaller party, um, like a slumber party party for my girls. I've even created um, board games. So class board games. I think it was a bingo that was related to the holiday to use for a class party. So there are so many things that Canva can help you do more quickly by using some of their templates. It can even schedule some social media for you as well, but their capabilities are a little bit more limited. But definitely check out Canva if you've always wanted to be a graphic graphic designer, but you're not a graphic designer. And then moving right along to Trello. So Trello is like a souped up to-do list. Really, it is a project management software, but you can use it for so many different things. And it's especially great, again, if you want to be able to share where your project is with teammates, or maybe you want to be able to share your to-do list with your spouse or your significant other. So a couple of ways to use Trello because without visually seeing it, it might be hard to go into too much detail, but just a couple of ideas. Um, I know my friend Mariah, she uses Trello to plan all of her vaca vacations. It can also be a great place to store all of your social media ideas. You can even put your whole social media content calendar in Trello to actually coordinate big projects. So I use Trello sometimes when I am planning the next challenge for my virtual studio. So it's a great way to not only keep track of all the videos that I need to film, but also the marketing tasks that need to get done ahead of time, emails that need to be sent, social media posts that need to be put out, and then the back end items like uploading all of the videos to my Arketa account and making sure they are labeled correctly so they show up correctly on the app. So instead of just having a list written out um, of every single thing you need to do for a project, you can put it in Trello and even use it like a project template that then you can copy and paste for the next, let's say, workout challenge that you are putting together or vacation that you 
are planning. So Trello is really great if you are planning a bigger event or project or challenge and you need to keep track of all of the moving pieces. You can drop links in there. You can drop pictures in there. So it holds everything related to that project in one place. You could drop a link to your Google Drive file where you have all of the marketing pictures and copy for that project. So those are a few of my favorite tools and pieces of technology that I use pretty much every single day to help be productive and stay organized. I'd love to hear what other pieces of technology or what tools you use every day. So hit reply to this email or drop a comment below where this is posted and let me know your must have tools and I will be sure to share those with the rest of the tribe. Thank you for joining me for week one. I hope you're walking away with a few new tools in your toolbox. Stay tuned for next week where we will be talking all about how to put your to-do list to work for you. So how can your to-do list lower your stress levels versus being something that you look at with dread? I'll see you next time, friends.